Hey Hike Agency users, uh, it's Andy here, one of the co-founders. So I wanted to let you know about um, a freebie, a freebie in a way for our, for our Hike Agency users. So one of the, the questions we've been asked um, a few times over the past year, or maybe even longer, is, is there a way to have, um, is there a way to demonstrate the platform to potential clients without having to either show one of your existing clients or your agency's website? Because, you know, you might not want to show that information, it might be confidential information, for example. So there's currently no way of doing this. Now, the ideal solution is to have a website where we could, it's already pre-populated perhaps with dummy data and we could give you access to it. Now, from, from an actual development point of view, that's a pretty difficult thing to do. And there are so many more important things that, you know, we can do to make the platform better. So we've come up with a kind of a temporary workaround, should we say. Um, so what we're going to allow is for anyone who wants this, um, we will add starbucks.com into your website, uh, into your account, sorry, so that you can populate it. You'll have to build a strategy. I'm going to talk you through it so that you can populate it and then show that to any potential customers so you can demonstrate the platform. Obviously, it will show on for your white label customers. It will show on your white label domain as well, just like any other website would. So this means that you can show your customers the platform without having to show your website or any of your other customers' websites, which, yeah, you, you probably want to keep confidential. So let me run through the strategy that I've built. So we've, we've built a strategy in here that you can copy and you can replicate. And you don't have to pay anything for this. So this is going to be completely free. It's, it's, it's no cost to you guys. You just have to be a hike agency user. Um, now, don't worry. I'm going to run through this and you'll get the video. But don't worry because it's all been created in a document. So when you sign up to this, this document will be sent to you, which details all the keywords to track, how to assign the, the sitemap, what content ideas to choose, what competitors to add, and what bank click opportunities. And you'll see it kind of breaks it all down for you here. So this will be sent over as well for you. Um, so yes, let me run through um, how we've populated this so that you can populate it yourself um, and then show it to customers, right? So first place, keyword ideas. But I'm not going to show that. I'm going to skip to the sitemap um, for, for quicker time, basically. Um, so here we can see how we've divvied up keywords um, across the website. So I was going to show you the keywords that we've picked anyway. Um, so it's a bit not the great thing about Starbucks, and this is mentioned in the strategy document, is it's an international recognizable brand. So, you know, we have customers all over the world, agencies all over the world, and their customers will pretty much all know who Starbucks are. Um, and their competitors are international recognizable. The other great thing about the Starbucks website is it's international website. So if you're based in the US, in Australia, in the UK, or in Europe, um, it's the same, pretty much a relevant website. Um, and finally, we have agencies that, some agencies that uh, look after just local clients, right? So clients, service-based customers who just want to target local keywords. And we have other clients that target more like national, maybe an e-commerce uh, keywords. Now, Starbucks falls nicely across that whole spectrum. There are keywords that you can, that Starbucks can optimize on this website that are more local-based. For example, Starbucks near me or coffee shop near me, or I've done a couple of a UK examples, Starbucks Swindon. Uh, and then a, a US example, Starbucks, Los Angeles. Feel free to put in a town or a location close to you. So this is kind of like showing off it's, it from a local point of view. But then also it's got the national element to it for, as well. So like Starbucks coffee, Starbucks delivery, cafe mocha, a, a generic keyword. Um, and then even a kind of a content-based keyword strategy. So creating a blog, calories in the chilate or black coffee calories. So it's just a, a great way to demonstrate some example keywords, Example how the sitemap works and how, how the platform works based off that. Moving down, content. So you'll want to populate all of these features really so you can really demonstrate the platform. Content, really, really easy. Add a couple of keywords. We've added in types of coffee and coffee calories. It brought back loads of good um, ideas for blog posts. Um, when you find ones that you like, tick it. It adds it to the content scrap board. You can then show this is the process that you'd go through for your client, your, the prospective client you're demonstrating to, and how you build out their content scrap board based on uh, content ideas that come back from Google or from YouTube. Uh, moving down, competition. So competition feature. I've given an example of three competitors. Now, these are kind of the three biggest international brands, coffee brands. You've, kind of, you've got Costa, you've got Tim Hortons, and you've got Dunkin' Donuts. Again, feel free to replace these perhaps if locally there's a, a bigger uh, coffee chain. You want to add quite a big coffee chain into that. Um, what you can do now is you can demonstrate the features in here. Don't forget to use the new comparison. That's a really nice feature. So you can compare um, Starbucks against these other brands. Uh, but then you can also show off the ranking features, the traffic, and the backlinks. Uh, actions, it will show all the actions. You can run through that. 
Local. Now, this is one of the things we can't, because obviously we don't have access to Starbucks GMB, we can't add local into it. So unless you're happy to add perhaps your own agency's website uh, uh, GMB listing into here, then you'll probably just have to skip this part. But it might be worth just adding your own um, GMB listing for your agency into there to show how these features work. Backlinks. So obviously all of these will be fully populated for Starbucks. You have your backlinks. But backlink opportunities, the two that are most relevant to show them, if this is something you want to demonstrate, is the competitor opportunities and the journalist outreach. If I show you the journalist outreach, we even give you the, the best keywords to search uh, to bring back results. Why do programmers love coffee? There's loads of good stuff in there. Lots of journalists seem to be writing about these types of topics and it's all detailed within this document. So you just need to follow this document while setting up the website and you'll have a nicely populated account to show um, prospective clients. Final one to mention is reporting. So again, we don't have access to Starbucks Google Analytics. So what we've done is we've just added a website into here. You could choose your own agency's analytics. You could choose anyone else's. You could say it's dummy data because one thing to know is it doesn't actually say, you know, um, this is the Google Analytics for such and such website. It doesn't say anything. It just says, traffic, you know, stats like these. So it really, it doesn't specify. You could put any website into here and show the client, say this is dummy data. Um, so yeah, and obviously you can show them all the other features such as the Academy, um, let's see, yeah, some like the backlink health check, the detox, for example, you can take them through that and show them harmful backlinks that Starbucks have. So yeah, um, hopefully this is really helpful for you guys. You know, this is a solution I think is, is a great way to enable you to have this option to demonstrate the platform until we perhaps build out a, a more polished solution, but that's probably going to be quite a while. So I think the best thing to do is to request access to this. We'll add starbucks.com. We'll send you this document and then you just need to populate the account and then you'll have a fully working order a demonstration website that you can show clients and, and sell more SEO to, right? So yeah, any questions, give us a shout, drop us an email. Oh, so if you do want to access it, drop an email to support at hikeseo.co. Um, in the subject line, just put something like free, uh, free agency demo account. We just need to know that you want it. What we'll do is probably tomorrow, if we get all the, um, everything in tonight, tomorrow we'll then start adding all those websites into the account. Cool, I hope that makes sense, everyone. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.